Here's a basic overview of the components I'm using to make that ball lightning inside the neon. A DC power supply feeds a solenoid coil up to 12 volts. On the output of that solenoid coil, or I should say directly across its leads, the AC inputs have a full wave high speed bridge rectifier. Now this one is custom designed. It has a 70 nanosecond rise time and has a 3 kV rating. So AC from the coil back EMF is captured by the rectifier. DC comes out and goes straight to the neon bulb. And technically you can get the same effect without the rectifier. It just makes it a little easier to trigger. The other critical component is an extremely fast rise time transistor or very low gate, ca uh, gate capacitance MOSFET and that's going to help quite a bit in getting that initial pulse of current into this thing so that the cluster can feed. Uh, this one is rated for 1500 volts. This does need to be a high voltage component, good for at least 1 kV rating. So I've already got signal applied and as I bring up the power, we're actually going to see on the scope here, we start out with a kind of slower rise. As it comes up in speed, we get that sharper rise. We can begin to see some purple inside the bulb there. We can see we're already pushing 1.2 kV, and uh, there we go. And in terms of power draw, um, this thing is drastically more lossy than the amount of energy that's going into the bulb. But, uh, Long story short, that's about as simple as it needs to be. We're just capturing the back EMF with the bulb and making sure that there is enough inductance built up and that we have a low enough internal self capacitance so that all that current can dump quickly into this thing and feed the cluster that likes to self form and self assemble so that uh, we can get that nice high output discharge. And unfortunately, it's impossible to see due to oversaturation, but there are all kinds of little beams and uh, rolling uh, shapes inside of that thing, which are very hard to capture. I also almost forgot to mention, in terms of heat inside these bulbs and the amount of energy that gets wasted generating heat instead of controlling these clusters, uh, we can actually see it on the screen here. There's two kinds of ignitions on this bulb. The first one is after the rise, we get an initial ignition and then a partial gas conduction. That's this curve here on the top side. But when we're actually getting one of those clusters inside, this waveform on the bottom that's showing up is what we're looking at, where the voltage goes down to almost nothing. It basically becomes an excellent conductor. And um, this is the mode where we don't get any heat. But every single time we see this upper waveform where there's a long decay, that's all ordinary uh, bulb operation and that is all loss. So it means the cluster is not feeding.